actually probably some of the most privileged students there are in Bosnia and Herzegovina. What about these other students? And, and that's why the brain drain is so high, because these people from rural areas, they would, um, they would rather go to other countries where they can actually get a monthly salary and, and have the basic necessities and a means of survival, which they absolutely, absolutely cannot find here. And for the political situation overall, honestly, I think it's generally just petty politics in Bosnia and Herzegovina, where, where no clear agenda is set on how the country should move forward. Some of us attended a seminar where we um, were speaking about the influence of Turkey and China in Bosnia, and that this, um, the lack of expansion of the European Union and its intervention in Bosnia in a direct, direct sense, like not, not talking about foreign direct investment, uh, is actually the cause of our shaky relations with the European Union. Uh, what about the future of this country? Now that you're, you know, <laughs> you were so pessimistic. <laughs> what is the future of this country and, and your role in it? Are, are you optimistic about it or your personal positions on this really? When it comes to the enlargement vision of the Western Balkans, the message has been clear. Uh, the reforms need to be done, uh, and the, once the conditions are met, the country and the countries in the region are welcome to join the EU, in a nutshell. People are interested in, in uh, becoming part of the EU precisely because they think that th there will be actually this rule of law that will uh, make it impossible for, for you know, people to become professional politicians and you know, do whatever they want without any, without any responsibilities. The people of the country want, I would say, what any other person or family in any European or EU country would want. I personally do not want to see the present politicians leading us to the EU because I don't think that they can do it. Uh, and they want their authorities to address the concerns and demands they have been placing on the agenda for quite, quite some time. been here for 25 years accompanying a lot of processes and trying to make sure things are constantly moving forward. All of these issues that we work on, uh, rule of law, anti-corruption, education, these aren't things that you can do overnight. The issue is also how the European bu bureaucracy goes very well, you know, with the Bosnian uh, bureaucracy. Sometimes people say we're, things don't happen fast enough, you know. Uh, I think uh, particularly for the citizens, they want to see changes move more quickly. There are no shortcuts to the EU. As a, as a EU representative, you're talking about change, etc., etc., but mostly you are seen with, you know, big shots, local politicians, like having serious conversation, etc., etc. I, I certainly, th I think some people may have lost hope. I don't think all hope is gone. Here, things are moving slow too slow, so... The Western powers and EU, they benefit somehow from this controlled chaos in our country. Because there are so many obstacles, but there are so many uh, options and ways to fix these things but no one is doing anything. I believe that there is a big, very big problem in, in the fact that these older generations are also trying to enforce their ideology and their um, values and beliefs onto the younger generations. And if we fall victim to that, I really can't expect any progress in, in any positive um, 
direction. I mean, European Union in general might not have that big impact on the country. I think the presence is very important because at least it, the country has the motivation to do something. There are those values and legal aspects and et cetera, other things that are relevant, which might, you know, just push Bosnia towards this more positive and functional uh, future. We might see noticeable changes in the next few decades, but we actually have to work to get there. And so what we will be doing, we will be working on these changes. We're going to try to make this happen because we can't just expect it to happen by itself.